I used to work in the lab with a classmate during university. She and I being the top of our class made things quite competitive between us. Back then I asked her what she wanted to do after graduation, and she told me that she wanted to continue research, which confused me because I was the kind of superficial person that studied hard, worked in the lab, and did volunteer work just so I could doll up my resume for medical school. However, what she told me back then has stuck with me to this day. As long as I make more than minimum wage, I'll do what I love. It's only now that I realize how ahead of the curve she was for following something she's passionate about, while I'm stuck in an unsatisfactory line of work. This is why someone like me with zero art background could resonate with an anime that predicates its storytelling on art, and I think those not into art should definitely give Blue Period a chance. Blue Period starts off with Fukuchi, a high school delinquent that contradicts his dyed hair and piercings with excellent grades. However, Yuguchi is self-aware, and cynically considers his role as a delinquent and honor student simply as a passionless vehicle to fulfill a social quota. Like many people, Yuguchi begrudgingly accepts his outline to success, and mindlessly studies to get into a good university and find a safe, high-paying job. However, this acceptance shifts when Yuguchi visits the art room and stumbles upon a piece of work that completely enamors him. It's at this moment that he feels alive for the first time, and ever since then, Yaguchi is unable to stop ruminating about art, and even loses himself in enjoyment while painting during art class. Because of this, Yaguchi decides to pursue his newfound passion of becoming an artist as he strives to be accepted into the very competitive and prestigious Tokyo University of the Arts. Blue Period is an anime about art. However, it would be more accurate to say that Blue Period is a coming-of-age story that uses the character's artwork to quantify the progress and development they make. Throughout Yuguchi's development are multiple character interactions that help Yuguchi find inspiration in his artwork, while alleviating insecurities about himself. For example, Yotasuke is a genius artist that initially discourages Yuguchi, as he feels he'll never be able to compare with his natural skill. However, this ordeal leads Yuguchi to coming to terms with being an average Joe, and motivates him to work harder when even a genius like Yotasuke can acknowledge Yuguchi as a rival. Another example involves Kuwana who is the ace of the cram school Yuguchi attends. Kuana, similar to Yuguchi, struggles with an inferiority complex as she compares her artwork with her older sisters, and it's this connection that leads both of them to worry less about others and more about creating their own masterpieces. Interactions like these makes each art assignment feel like an exciting mental battle for the viewer, as Yuguchi combats himself and the culmination of life experiences with his brush and canvas. If you enjoy slice of life dramas, you'll have a great time at Blue Period as Yuguchi develops from an empty honor student into a passionate artist. Another thing I want to mention is the impressive job the anime does with a transsexual character that actually made me more empathetic towards the group. Since I'm from the US, I have to be cautious about overzealous religious and social justice organizations that prey upon impressionable university students. So, whenever I hear about LGBTQ this and identify that, I simply avoid it because I'm more concerned about bailing my black friends out of jail at 4am for something as mundane as a broken fucking headlight. With that being said, Blue Period's characterization of Ayukawa is so well done that even someone as allegedly transphobic as me can truly relate to her story. Blue Period characterizes Ayukawa as someone disenfranchised, facing enormous expectations from family, and playing a character that attempts to blend in with society, and the show helps us emotionally quantify this when Ayukawa is tasked with painting a self-portrait only to leave because she struggles with her identity and sadly sees herself as an outlier to society. It's a testament to the quality of Blue Period's characters when an anime is capable of broadening my understanding of a trans individual more than any of the surface level attempts in western media. So in summary, Blue Period taught me that even a man does a better job at being a woman. I agree. You hate women! Hold her up! <laughs> Just kidding. Blue Period is a unique slice of life drama that creatively quantifies the conflict of our main characters within the canvas of art. Those that know nothing of art will still be able to find a cohesive story in its characters while they tackle relatable themes of insecurity, identity, and motivation. Although Blue Period is technically a coming of age drama, don't assume it's as relaxed as most drama. Each blank canvas, assignment, an exam feels like an intense battle of wits being fought in each character's mind, and just like the characters, you'll be curious to see if all the training and epiphanies paid off. 
If you're looking for a relatable cast of characters to cheer for, then I highly recommend you give Blue Period a watch. It does have some pacing issues in the beginning, however after a few episodes, the show adjusts itself quite nicely. Also, you might be able to learn some new technical art jargon, which you can BS on your next date to sound smarter. Anyway, that wraps up my recommendation for this video. I'm off for now. Take care everybody.